he was gonna go far with life. But unfortunately, they cut that short. Nogulunga Kwangi is in distress. The 34-year-old mother of two is grieving the death of her six-year-old son, Slindogu Slimjali. He passed away on the 1st of July, less than 24 hours into his visit to his father's house in Bronco Spread, Mbumalanga. Around uh, 12, like 0005 midnight, I received a call from the baby daddy. He said he's outside. I asked, uh, what are you doing outside in my place this time? He said there's an emergency. So I went out, I opened the gate for him. When I see in the car, there was like, there was five people. It was him, it was three neighbors, and also the sister. Oh, I was shocked. I asked them, like, before even they stopped the car, I was asking, what, where is my sign? I said, no, just let's go inside. They will explain everything inside. And then they told me, what, my son was eaten by dogs. He passed away. So I was like, how? Since the separation of his parents in 2020, Slindogusle lived in the Eastern Cape with his grandparents. He was visiting his mother in Pretoria for the June holidays when his father asked for him. Nogulunga says her son was over the moon as he had been asking for his dad. She says something strange, however, happened on the day Mshonishwam Jadi fetched their son. Before he left, he said, eh, you know what, just for today, please pray for me. I will pray for you. I was like, why? I no, 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 just for today only. Not like just today. Just pray for me. And I will also today, I will pray for you. When they get in Bronco Spread, they called with the video call around 8. They told me whether they arrive safely. On a Friday, on the 1st of July, I tried to conduct him around, uh, around 7 to check if the baby is fine and everything. He blue ticked me. He didn't reply. I sent question marks. He didn't reply, he blue ticked me. I tried calling him via voice call. He also didn't reply. That was the time Jali was apparently dealing with the police after having found the child dead by the pool area. It is alleged that he made that grim discovery not long after returning from work. He said there was three people inside the house. So I asked him, how come the people they cannot hear the baby crying? He said he's not staying in a three-bedroom house. He's staying in the huge house. It's not possible to hear the noise outside because his house is too big. And then the neighbors, they were, they, they were here when he was telling me that they also told me that they heard the baby crying from four o'clock until five. They also tried to get help. They were screaming, they were shouting. And around five, the, the noise went off. The people was not crying anymore. So they said they thought it would maybe they saw someone came and helped the kid. So at around six is when they started seeing the, the police, the post-mortem guys, everything. It was like, it was hectic. It's when they heard that, no, the babies passed away. One of the neighbors who had accompanied him Jali when he went to report the tragedy to Noklunga declined an on-camera interview but confirmed what Noklunga says. The neighbor says her child has told her that sometimes she still hears the little boy's screams. According to a post-mortem report, the family's three boar bulls killed Slindogutle, something Noklunga finds strange. We stayed together. The dogs were there. The same dogs, and they were seven. So now, Say good, there's only three dogs left. That's these three dogs that they, they, they killed the child. Like, it's, I don't know how to say it, this thing. It just it doesn't make sense. That's all I can say. It doesn't make sense at all. She suspects foul play and says the postmortem results have compounded her worries. According to the report, there were dog bites on Slindogusha's clothes. But when I was identifying my baby's body, I saw the, the cut, there was no dog bite. As it's supposed to have a dog bite, like, cause the dog does, doesn't cut, it bite. So when I look at the skin, it's just not possible cause the skins are peeled out. And I can see the shape of the knife when you look at the baby. There is a shape of the knife. And then the whole body that they said, 
is got nothing the leg is half gone the leg i'm sure 80% of the side is gone there is a drug suit so there's no yeah nothing is torn there is nothing that is torn and again on the clothes that gave me another suspicion when i was checking my baby's clothes they are not torn so i don't understand what maybe the dog that was eating the baby it was stripped the baby the clothes and then put it on after that because not even one bite not even one taunt like i believe good if the dog bites me while i'm wearing like this the clothes will show yes it cannot get to my skin without going to the clothes but to him it happened the postmortem report also states that Sindogusha's clothes were not wet and had blood. But Nogulunga says the clothes were wet when she received them and had no visible blood stains. This man is among those who saw Sindogusha's body after his tragic passing. He has asked that we conceal his identity for fear of victimization. So I told him to go back here and not to go back to my mess. So my camera goes along to over the Amazon range, about the Amazon range, about the Mugwara goes on Amazon range. And then any into the other one of the women here, Mother Mabona Nama Pasui, or calling down, or calling down the way for the village of the Kazan. Got a Timantal and Bambay, a man of whom the Mapasa was over Matanda. Like Slindogusha's mother, he believes there is more to the child's death than what they have been made to believe. So in terms of the people who are going to do that And then in terms of one of his sisters that fell on the scene, who are not so much, 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 a police report on the matter says on the crime scene there were signs of struggle and blood against the wall. Results from a quick online search on the characteristics of the dogs involved in this case revealed that the protective bull bulls can be dangerous if not properly trained. While they seldom bite, they can easily tear through muscles, tendons and in some cases bones. Nogulunga is also wary of the police's conduct in her child's case. Among her concerns is the fact that the police didn't open a case of negligence against the owner of the dogs. She has laid a complaint with the SEPS Complaint Center. I also believe that I was also supposed to take a statement from me. When did the baby went to Brongos Pride? How was the state when he was going there? And how was the father when he fetching the kid and everything? But I never, no one ever asked me for a statement. We accompanied her to the Broncos Spread Police Station to see the investigating officer. He confirmed that an inquest docket into the matter has been opened. He says the delay in the taking of statements is procedural in traumatic cases as they need detailed statements from all stakeholders which require those consent to be in a good state of mind. We went to the house where Slindogusha lost his life to hear his father's perspective on the tragedy, but he turned down our request for an interview. One, you are not invited in my house, uh, you cannot get out of my house. Two, uh, go to the police and get the photos of what they found the police. And uh, if, if you don't do that, you are not invited, I'm not going to pick up your phone. Nogulunga says the passing of her son has traumatized her. She's now scared of the dark and depends on sleeping pills for a night's rest. Despite this, however, she says she won't stop fighting until her questions over the circumstances of her son's death answered that's like what happened and whoever whoever was involved and also whoever also benefited in my son's death those people must pay they need to pay i need good if we can do anything if we're gonna have to if there are people want to investigate this case more even if they can say good we can go to eastern cape and take the body out so that it can be examination, it can be done with the, another post-mortem. I will allow that. Because it cannot die like a dog.
and then the case is just gonna end just like that. It cannot happen. It cannot. It can't. It can't. It can't. It can't. It can't.